Hey folks, welcome back to the Metal Mill 52 workshop. My name is Bill. We're working on an LBSC Titch locomotive. That's what the book looks like. This week we're dealing with some cold weather here where I live, so I don't have much time out in the shop. And um, all, all I did, I, I, I wanted to get something done. So I put this in the lathe and I finally drilled and tapped the center hole for this, the steam dome. And as you can see, uh, I've made it fit with the um, Black Gates engineering safety valve that I bought. So pleased to get something done anyway. Hope you enjoy this episode. As always, please give me a thumbs up. Please pass the word as I am trying to grow the channel. Let me know if you have any questions. Thanks everybody. Have a great week. Well, the first step in, in making the uh, threaded hole for the, the safety valve is to put the cap. It's a, the outer diameter is three quarters of an inch. So I've got it centered in a 5C collet, a three quarter inch 5C collet, and I've just made a center drill. I've got my brass and bronze screws out here that have the relieved edge, and I'm gonna go ahead and start with a smaller drill, about a 3 /16. All right, here we are with the letter K drill. So that's the proper tapping size hole for the uh, 5 16th inch 32. And so here, Gone ahead. I just used the, um, the intermediate 5 five sixteenths inch 32 tap and um, gone in and just threaded by hand using my setup with the tailstock die holder. I made a tap holder as well. See if I can maybe get that thing buried in there. But it is so cold out here, folks, as I wind this thing out. I'm not going to stay out here very much longer. Uh, kind of kills me to have have the time and have some sunlight but it's in the 40 degree range outside it's been even colder than that this week we've had a couple of freezing nights which we're not used to where I live <laughs> so I don't have much heat in the in the workshop other than my trusty little space heater which I do turn off and unplug and all that when I go in but so here's the tap I clean it off carefully after every use. Just brush off the little pieces and I'll wipe it down before I put it back in its container. I'll bring it back, I'll show you the container and I'll pull the part out. Show you the finished part with the uh, little safety valve installed. There's some of my model engineering taps and dies. This nice little set, I got this from a UK supplier. I'll show you the box in a minute. Silver brand, carbon steel. So I, I do not use these on stainless, of course, but they're fine for brass and bronze. And as I said, I bought them from the UK. I forget exactly which. It was one of the major model engineering houses, but really pleased with them. I was about to take the part out, but I noticed that the bottom, sorry, the bottom of the hole was a little rough. So I put this little chamfer bit inside the drill and made a nice clean transition there. Here's the part all threaded. I deburred this side too. So both sides are deburred. I need to wipe that out and then I'll, uh, I'll screw it together with the uh, safety valve and show you what the finished thing looks like. Okay, there's the part the safety valve installed on the little mount. Here's what the uh, well, it looks like the bag it comes in from Black Gates. Let me show you something interesting. You know, if you're followed along with me making all these fittings, I've made a big deal about undercutting the bottom of where the threads come to the base of a part. And it's interesting. You can see here they did not. And um, I guess the seal, I guess they're counting on that little lip down there to make the seal. So, interesting. But... I'm not going to mess with the with the safety valve as it is. Perhaps there's a reason for that. So that's pretty uh, pretty nice. Pretty pleased with how that works, how that looks. Let me show you something else while we're here. One thing I do as I'm going through, it's been you know all seems like all summer long, maybe all year, making parts, making the little boiler fittings. I've been keeping them all together in this bag, and excuse me, in this box, this shoe box here, sneaker box and um, it's pretty handy so I just write down I put them in a baggie write down what they are 
tape them together if there's different pieces. Here's the blower valve that we made last week. You can see how nice and small it is and how it looks good painted there. So pretty happy about that. And all the rest of them, the bypass valve, even the water pump that we made like a year ago. So it's all neatly here in this box all together with all the little screws and things. Same thing here, the screw and the gasket are in there screws and gasket so that's how I keep it together as I make each part okay I think I'm gonna wrap up here for this week's very short update I still haven't worked on this yet I do have a torch a little oxypropane torch that I can use to braze these and I've been doing some reading about the brazing and since I'm using stainless it seems like the best thing that it is recommended by the manufacturer is the safety seal of 56 with the white flux. So I've got some of that ready to go. Also, I read a, a blog, I'll cover this um, later, the Japanese gentleman that put brass in the mix when he did the, the soldering. And if it was warmer out here, I would experiment with that till I get the technique. Um, but it's just too cold out here. So I'm going to wrap up here. And I will keep you updated. Hopefully the next thing will be the superheater assembly. The next thing that I show you. Have a great week everybody.